couple months back I burned up this $60 little rig talk rig interface, a radio interface for my ham radio. I plugged it in across a phase and uh, maybe had a ground loop and I zapped something on that. I could feel it in my fingers when I did that. So I uh, did a little bit of measuring and I figured out that I had uh, two resistors in question on the board that didn't seem to uh, make sense for how they were marked. Actually one was open and then uh, that one is open there. I measured the other one here. It's uh, good. There's 100 ohms. And flip around to the other side. There's a, another resistor, 100 ohm resistor, but it, for some reason it's measuring 1,000 ohms. So I decided to uh, order some parts on eBay uh, and uh, just a spool of, of uh, resistors and have a look at removing these. So I just did the uh, removal with a pair of uh, nippers. I just uh, nipped the resistor in the middle and fractured it right off the board and worked pretty well. I was afraid that might it might uh, damage the land but I uh, just had a little crack at it and got enough of it off the board that would allow me to take the rest off with the uh, soldering iron. This allowed me to pop them off and then go after them with a soldering iron. Two little resistors there. So what I'll do now here is just get my iron ready and dab a little dab a little uh, solder onto them kinda wipe them off with the tip uh, the, the little last little pieces that are attaching to the lands on the board and I got my solder wick and I wanna clean off those pads so I went after them with uh, a little bit of solder wick and what I forgot here is that little piece of solder wick like that does get pretty hot. Woo! That's hot. Clean it up a little bit. Do the other resistor. So I got uh, a flux pen. I learned this trick. Get a little dab of flux on the spots that you're trying to uh, rework. And here's my little strip of resistors that I got. Put the flux pen down and um, makes a little sticky spot for the component to land on. So here's my little pan of ice that I got from Radio Shack when they were going south. I got it for real cheap. A little pair of uh, needle nose or a little uh, tweezers and a pick to kind of put put the part in place there. Soldered in place. Gave it a little measurement. Yeah, that's much better. Flip it around. Let's try the other side here. Half the trouble was getting the thing <laughs> up there. That one went a lot smoother than the first one, but uh, hold it down, tack it in place, go after either side with a little bit of solder, and check my measurements. And this is the 1000 ohm one, and this one's showing up a lot better now. <laughs> Move over to the computer. I felt so good about my repair that I figured I'd just put the case on pop the case on, grab the cable, plug it into the PC, start up the radio, and this is my ICOM 910. Come up as COM30, that was going to be a problem in the software, so jumped into the settings here, and I changed it, I forced it onto COM3, which would work better. I got lots of COM ports and virtual COM ports from my Flex radio. Uh, unplug it and replug it, make sure it comes up as COM3, jump into the program, set it for COM3, restart it, because it needs to be restarted when you change something like that, and then go over to the radio, we got it tuned up to a satellite here, and enable the tuning here, and we see that the radio does change frequency on both bands, and so that means that uh, the repair was working good, and give it a couple checks here, 
changed a couple different frequencies. There we go. Flipped over the bands and got all tuned up. So the repair worked great. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.